Mother's Day, Mother's Day evening. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful day with your loved ones today. And, um, you know, if your mom's still with us, you were able to spend it with your mom or at least chat with her. So I spent it with my mom. She wasn't really feeling up to going out and about and doing an adventure today. So we were just kind of quiet. We just kind of hung around the house and played with her puppy and that was cool and she loves this one uh, show that was on USA called White Collar and on Sundays they play it like all day long on another channel so <laughs> she was in her glory watching it but anyway it is still spring and I've got a story for you actually I have two things I wanted to discuss tonight but one's a rant and one's an FYI and I chose to do the rant at another time because I want to have a visual for the rant and I don't have a visual for it so I'm gonna hold on that one but it's a doozy a doozy on that rant but anyway here's something else I was recently um, you know I, I shop a lot and I was in a store and I happened upon somebody that was on an acquaintance, I can't say we're like friends, but an acquaintance that I've met a couple of times before. And she was holding a garment bag from the store we were in. And uh, we started to chat and so forth and being the nosy sort that I am. So just be uh, forewarned, if I ever come across you in a store and I know your, you know, if I know your face and you're carrying bags, I will ask to go through them. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but anyway, but this was a helpful thing. This was helpful. Um, anyway, she showed me the two items that she had had in her garment bag that she had just purchased. And I couldn't say anything. Because it would be unsolicited advice. And I don't believe in that. Unless she were to say, well, what do you think, Lorianne? But I wasn't going to say anything. Both of the items that she had chosen were going to be way too tight on her, way too form-fitting for her body shape. Uh, she was uh, quite a, a pear-shaped, and as we all know, a pear shape is narrow on the top and wider on the bottom, and she, and she was really... Um, vertically challenged as am I uh, on the shorter side so that sometimes when you're pear shaped and vertically challenged your lower half tends to look a little bit bigger because you don't have those long legs to like kind of balance it all out so I could see the dress that she chose first of all it was the perfect color for her so I was very excited about that so was the other item, was a top, a perfect color for her. Uh, but I could see, just looking at the dress, it was going to be too narrow and too short. And too youthful. Really just, um, we got to be careful with the flounces and the ruffles kind of thing. Especially up around our face, if it's just a little too, too. It just gets a little, and down at the bottom, a little too girly, too young, too young looking. Anyway... She said to me, I can't fit into the dress. And I thought to myself, why'd you buy it? So she said, I have to lose some weight in order to fit into the dress. And I thought to myself, that is such a huge red flag and mistake to make. And I will tell you why. Because it is you might have to diet and get 10, 15, 20 pounds off to fit into a certain item. Weight comes off in different ways now. Not, not we, just because we say, I want it to come off in my gut and my butt, it doesn't gonna, it's not necessarily gonna do that. You may, your arms might get thinner, your back might get thinner, you know, your boobs will get smaller. It doesn't always come off the way we want it to come off. Uh, it's going to play mind games with her because she's not going to be able to wear it. And, you know, when you get to be a certain age, weight is really harder to get off than when we were like 20 and we could just, you know, 
not eat McDonald's or Burger King for two days and be fine. Those days are over. I don't know about you, but they're kind of over. And I thought, that's really a, sh a shame. Um, never, ever purchase something with the thought in mind that I'm going to lose 15 pounds to get into that. It's, it really is not a good thing to do. Don't send me hate mail on this, because <laughs> you know I'm right. It's just not good to do. It, it just messes with your mind too much, all right? You know, one or two pounds that you think, oh, it will look a little bit, but you know, when you have a, a greater amount of weight to lose to get into that dress, not good, not good at all. And then I could tell on the top was about three sizes too small for her and had stretch, but it was not going to be attractive at all. It was going to catch on all her rolls. And I just, I just stood there and smiled. That, a better smile than that. Not that fakey smile right now. I, a nice smile. Hugged her, wished her well. <laughs> just, just know that there you have it. So anyway, that is my uh, big takeaway today. Tip for you. Don't go purchasing stuff that, that you think, oh, well, it's on sale. I'm going to get it because I'm going to lose the weight. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's, it's just not worth it. It's just going to mess with you too much. And, uh, it's, uh, and what's going to happen if you never get the weight off and that dress never looks good? Then you're going to resent the dress, never wear it, and it's just money wasted in your closet, right? So who wants to have a bunch of dollar bills hanging in their closet on hangers? Don't you want to use them, or do you want them all to be in, in your closet, sitting there? So, uh, here's your, that's your big tip for the day, no matter what the sale is, all right? Uh, anyway, I hope you all have a great evening. Uh, again, I'm Lorianne Robinson, fashion consultant and health and wellness entrepreneur. So, if you know somebody that maybe has done this recently, or... Um, that does it all the time, please share this video with them. I'd appreciate it, okay? And uh, maybe, you know, I can help save them from the perils of the sale rack and, and buying something that's not gonna work for them because it's uh, not a good thing. Yeah, I think it's just a big old waste of money. Okay, everyone, have a great Sunday evening and I will talk to you again real soon with my rant. All right, take care, bye-bye.